The clue was the tea kettle. It was radioactive. Turned out to have remnants of polonium-210. 2006 was the date when Alexander Litvienko was poisoned by Russian agents. He himself was Russian, but he had left Russia because he had been critical of Vladimir Putin. And the agents pursued him and poisoned him with polonium-210. What a toxic material that is, and what an interesting substance. Polonium was discovered by Marie Curie, who named it after her homeland, which was Poland. It's a naturally radioactive substance. It releases alpha particles. Alpha particles basically are nuclei of helium atoms. And alpha particles played a very large role in the bombs that were dropped on Japan, on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, both the plutonium bomb and the uranium bomb. 1940s, of course, there was a great deal of research on how to make the bomb. And uh, George Duval was an American who was a spy. And eventually, in 2007, he was recognized by Vladimir Putin as a hero of the Soviet Union with a medal because he had transmitted information to the Russians about the bomb. He had managed to get a job in the Dayton Project. And the Dayton project was run by the Monsanto Chemical Company, and it was aimed at finding a way to initiate a nuclear reaction. And what was needed was polonium-210, because this releases the alpha particles. The alpha particles could be used to bombard beryllium atoms, which would then release neutrons, and that would start the change reaction in uranium atoms or in uh, plutonium atoms different kind of bombs, but very, very similar processes. So the challenge was to extract enough polonium from natural occurring substances like lead oxide. And uh, this was the secret that uh, uh, this agent transmitted to the Russians. Well, let me try to explain to you what is involved here. So we'll let this represent the polonium-210. And here's some beryllium. So the Polonium is going to bombard the beryllium. The beryllium releases neutrons. The uh, neutrons then bombard uh, other atoms, and you get a chain reaction going with neutrons all over the place. All right, let's see if we can make this chain reaction go. Let's see if we can make this chain reaction go. There we go. And what comes at the end of this chain reaction? Boy, we know history. History tells us that at the end of this chain reaction is an explosion. So now you know a little bit about the chemistry of polonium-210, the role it played in the murder of the secret agent, the American who was spying for the Russians, and the role that it played in the Second World War and the development of the bomb. Uh, Litvienko, the ex-Russian who uh, was killed, is not going to get a medal from Putin as hero of the Russian Federation.